don't miss any content don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell hey what's up guys welcome back to sahara football it's a fine morning here we're going to talk more football first of all question you to this issue i'm going to give you more updates on it as usual if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get more updates on videos i post onto this channel so i'm going to give you information about question you inside information to as to how he got served such a lengthy ban a lifetime ban when there were others who did worse crimes against bribery allegations those who are faced worse but have been given minimum of six years ban and he has been a lifetime ban why is that the case so let me get right into it so last night gary al smith he threw a, tweet, a series of tweets he made last night revealed that the government of ghana apparently had a hand in the investigation they gave fifa information that incriminated and further the evidence was too overwhelming for fifa to to actually do anything other than give christianity a lifetime ban so the letter that the government of ghana a letter indicating that the government of ghana was cooperating with fifa so now in this letter in this letter fifa is acknowledging receipt of evidence from ghana and from the government of ghana so the letter reads this is a letter from the fifa it's to the attorney general deputy attorney general godfrey dame and saying confidential request for information and documentation so it said we acknowledge receipt of various documentation and information brought to the attention of the chairperson of the investigative chamber of the fifa ethics committee in particular your letter dated 17 september 2018 12 emails sent on September 17th with the various enclosures, in particular an interview transcript, a hard copy of the JAMFA Commission report handed to the representatives of FIFA delegation last week in Ghana, and a USB stick containing the INAS video, which was attached to said Commission report. In this regard, the chairperson of the investigative chamber would like to express her profound gratitude for collaboration and support into our investigation against Kosi Nyantichi. The disclosure of the above mentioned information is highly appreciated and will be considerable considerable value when pursuing the proceedings against Mr. Nyantichi. Mm. For good sake's order, we would also like to emphasize that any documentation and information shared with the Ethics Committee will be treated with utmost confidentiality and discretion. So, therefore, please be assured that the information provided will be used exclusively in the context of the present proceedings conducted pursuant of the FIFA Code of Ethics. So, from this letter, we can see clearly that the government of Ghana helped FIFA in their investigation. They gave FIFA information that incriminated the anti badly, and that was what led to the by a lifetime ban, the evidence against Nyantichi was too overwhelming to be ignored. But a question he asked at the end of this year was a lifetime ban for Nyantichi for taking $65,000 bribe. Then said Blatter gets an eight year ban, which was reduced to six for $1.86 million. And Platini, eight year ban for the same offense as above. So they dealt in more, there was more money involved, there was more bribery money involved, but Nyantichi had $65,000. And I think the reason why he was given this um, lengthy ban, lifetime ban, was because of the evidence provided by the government of Ghana in support of Anas's video and all that. I think this was what sank Nyantichi badly and there was no way he was going to recover from this. Nyantichi has replied the FIFA ban and he's looking to 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 fight that ban with all his might so i'll take you through that document for well, the statement he released yesterday he said i wish to express my shock and deep sadness after receiving the decision from the fifa ethics adjudicatory committee on tuesday he said my legal advisors are under my instructions to urgently appeal the decision as i think it was unfair harsh and unwarranted i will use all the legal channels available to seek redress and establish the facts I presented to the committee. Even though I have already resigned from all my football positions, it's important I establish the facts that the sole aim of clearing my name 
at this moment i am unable to provide any further details as my lawyers are reviewing the facts of the appeal at the court of arbitration of sports I wish to express my sincere gratitude to the people of Ghana, Africa, and indeed across the globe for the overwhelming support and outpouring of sympathy. So that's Christine Antichi that is uh, replying to the ban given him by FIFA, the lifetime ban and the five or five hundred thousand, the fine of five hundred thousand dollars by FIFA. And from what it looks, he wants to clear his name, not because he wants his position back, he wants to clear his name. So I don't know what you think about that, Christine Antichi. He's claiming innocence here, yeah, apparently from this statement. He's claiming innocence. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments box. To so my next story in Accra, Asante Kotoko, as we know, appealed to the normalization committee to take part in the CAF competition. And uh, currently, they have named a 25-man squad after the go-ahead from the normalization committee. They've named a 25-man squad and included their seven new signings. They signed seven new players, and those seven new players are also in the squad for the Champions League campaign that's coming up. So, Asante Kotoko, even though they are not involved in any competitive club football in Ghana here, they are going to the Cup League, and I don't know what you think about that. I personally feel they will not be 100% prepared for that tournament, and it will be a tricky one for them. I'll let you know how that goes. More news, I'll bring it to you as and when I get them. So I think that's been it for today. Very quick one here. I'm your host, Elas Fiawi. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and open an account with one expert. The link is in the description. You go down, click on the link, open with our promo code. And they have so, so many amazing deals. Happy new month to you all and have a great November. See you guys in the next one.